Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence, and here is the seafood news for the week of March 9th, 2020. In this week's episode, we uncover whether there will be a Fraser River sockeye fishery this year and review other West Coast Pacific salmon forecast. The following episode is brought to you by Sinbad Gold. Sinbad Gold is our all-natural, premium quality brand produced in Asia. Our Sinbad Gold all-natural line of products guarantees the highest quality of twice frozen production while remaining completely additive free. If you're interested, find out more at our website at tradexfoods.com slash our brands. Fraser River sockeye in British Columbia, Canada are known to have some of the highest fat content, with some culinary experts saying it is the best tasting sockeye in the world. Unfortunately, it's looking like any commercial fishing opportunities for Fraser River sockeye this year will be zero to extremely limited. In the draft 2020-2021 Salmon Integrated Fisheries Management Plan obtained by Tradex, it states, while it is unlikely to occur in 2020, conservation measures to protect interior Fraser River steelhead will affect Fraser sockeye fisheries if fisheries persist late in the season. When discussing pre-season run size forecast, the medium or 50% probability, P50, of the total 2020 forecast distribution is 941,000 fish. In 2019, there were just 485,000 sockeye returning to the Fraser River year last year, down from the pre-season forecast of 4,795,000. The returning sockeye in 2020 are the offspring from 2016, the second lowest return in history to the Fraser. In 2016, there was no commercial fishing for Fraser sockeye, and based on that, I would assume there would be little or no commercial fishing opportunities in 2020, said Fiona Martins, Chief of Fisheries Management Programs for the Pacific Salmon Commission. Fraser sockeye survival was at a record low in 2009, improved from 2010 to 2014, declined again from 2015 to 17, improved in 2018, and fell to a record low in 2019. In addition to the record low returns in 2019, a landslide in the Big Bar area on the Fraser River had notable impacts to the sockeye passage to the spawning grounds. In response to recent declining productivity, climate change, and the increased variability that accompanies it, as well as the low sockeye abundances, the department plans to review forecast model methods as part of an adaptive management. On a side note, for Fraser River pinks, in even numbered years, there are very few returns of pink salmon and a stock outlook is not produced. If you want a detailed look through these salmon IFMPs, we have provided download links below. Next, let's move on to the second largest producer of sockeye in British Columbia, Canada, the Skeena River sockeye. Total Skeena sockeye return is expected to be low to modest, with a preseason return forecast from 0.41 million at 90% probability to 1.9 million at 10% probability and a point estimate of 0.88 million at 50% probability. If preseason forecast is greater than 1.05 million, then commercial fishery openings are planned. If below 1.05 million, commercial fisheries will not take place until the in-season run size prediction is greater than 1.5 million. For Nass River sockeye, returns are forecasted to be average to below average, with an expected total return to Canada from 315,000 at 75% probability to 560,000, 25% probability, and a point estimate of 420,000. 50% probability. The BC salmon industry is in dire straits. This is especially true as BC salmon lost their MSC rating on November 27, 2019, when the Canadian Pacific Sustainable Seafood Society voluntarily withdrew from Marine Stewardship Council certification for sockeye, chums, and pinks. Seafood buyers focused on purchasing sustainable salmon will have to rely on other catch areas, such as Alaska and Russia. Our recommendation is to hold off on purchasing new season to see what the first three to four weeks show as production. And finally, the Washington Department of Fishery and Wildlife recently released their salmon forecast. Fishery managers advise the coming year may be another tough one for anglers in Washington with low salmon returns expected again for 2020. 
for the Columbia River Chinooks, or upriver brights, are to see a slight increase in expected returns of about 233,400 fish, compared to a 2019 return of 212,200 fish. But this is still well below the most recent 10-year average. Columbia River cohos are projected to see a sharp decrease to an estimated 181,000 this year, compared to the 2019 forecast of about 905,000 fish. For Puget Sound, roughly 525,500 wild and hatchery coho are expected to return this year, equating to another decline from 2019 when 737,600 were predicted to return. Projected declines for Chinook in Puget Sound aren't quite as drastic, with about 256,800 Chinook expected to return to the region, a dip of about 12,000 from last year's production. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence. Buy smart and eat more seafood.